What's going on, guys, and welcome to the 2 p.m. update on the hurricane in the Eastern Pacific and Tropical Depression 4. So, I did some quick math after I was done filming the video, like, two hours ago, and I predicted that Tropical Depression 4 will make landfall around three out in around three and three hours or so so i will be live streaming the landfall of the system on my youtube so yeah just stay tuned for that anyways let's get into this advisory so the hurricane is weakening as it begins to move away from the southwestern Mexican coast, and the hurricane warning has been canceled. It's about 90 miles west of Cabo Corrientes, Mexico, or it's about 240 miles southeast of Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. Its maximum sustained winds are down to 80 miles per hour, so I'm predicting by... The 8 p.m. advisory. This thing's going to be a tropical storm. It's moving northwest at 5 miles per hour. So, change to this advisory. The government of Mexico has discontinued all watches and warnings south of Playa Perula. In addition, the hurricane warning... That was in effect from Cabo Corrientes to Playa Perula has not changed to tropical storm warning. And then there's all the watches and warnings. If you guys want to pause the video and read that, you can. But yeah. So, at 12 p.m. Mountain Time, the center of the hurricane was located near latitude 20.6 north, longitude... 107.1 west. The hurricane was is now moving toward the northwest near 5 miles per hour. This motion is expected to continue for the next few days. On forecast track, the core of Enrique, the core of the hurricane will continue to move away from the southwestern coast of Mexico this afternoon. The hurricane is then expected to move near or over Portions of the southern, southern Baja California Peninsula on Wednesday. Maximum sustained winds have decreased to near 80 miles per hour with higher gusts. Weakening is forecasted over the next several days. Hurricane is expected to weaken low hurricane intensity by tomorrow, but is still expected to be tropical storm when it moves near the southern Baja California Peninsula. Peninsula on Wednesday. No real change with the winds and then the key messages with this thing. If you guys want to pause the video and read all that. Then in the next complete advisory on this system is at 3 p.m. Mountain Time, which is 5 p.m. EST. So now we wait and see. Okay. New advisory on Tropical Depression 4 has just came out. So let's see this. So the header for this advisory is Reconnaissance Aircraft Investigating Tropical Depression located just offshore the coast of South Carolina. It is about 85 miles east-southeast of Beaufort, South Carolina, or about 55 miles Southeast of Charleston, South Carolina. Its maximum sustained winds are still at 35 miles per hour. It's moving north, west northwest at 16. So, in about three hours, it's going to be making landfall. And then no change with its pressure. No change with the watches or warnings. So, 
Let's go into the discussion and outlook now. At 2 p.m. EDT, the center of tropical depression 4 was located near latitude 32.2 north, longitude 79.3 west. The depression is moving toward the west and northwest near 16 miles per hour. This general motion is expected to continue for the next couple of days. On the forecast track, the center of the tropical cyclone should make landfall along the coast of South Carolina within the warning area later this evening. Probably around 5, 5.30. Maximum sustained winds are near 35 miles per hour with higher gusts. Some slight strengthening is expected today, and the depression is forecast to become a tropical storm before it makes landfall. Rapid weakening is forecast after landfall occurs. And an Air Force Reserve reconnaissance aircraft is currently investigating the cyclone. That's saying minimum pressure is 1,013 millibars. That will probably be confirmed by the 5 o'clock advisory. Heck, they may even start issuing the, um... Nope, they're not issuing the hourly updates yet. I'm assuming by 3 or 4 they'll start issuing hourly updates as this thing inches closer and closer. Anyways, guys, that is it. Actually, let's go to Tropical Tidbits. Because I know they have recon... So this is the recon flight. As you guys can see, they left from around the Florida-Louisiana border. And they are now going through this hurricane. Not hurricane. What am I saying? They are now going through... They are currently locating... Actually, never mind. They aren't. That's not the recon mission. Never mind about that. Anyways, let's look at this and see if we can see anything. Okay, cool. It still has that circulation. And there are now thunderstorms starting to pop up on the outside of the storm system. So, we could have some intensification here starting pretty soon actually probably right now there's intensification going on I just don't see a whole lot on the long wave infrared let's go to the visible high res radar to see if we can get anything I don't care I'm add I'm on. You can do it. Just load the entire picture for me. So, there's definitely some blow-up now on that western... Yeah, western side of this system. So, I believe we may have some... We may have Tropical Storm Danny here within the hour. Now, let's take a look at the hurricane. I'm assuming it'll still not look like a hurricane at all. Yeah. Let's take a look at the long wave infrared. As it loads up. And yeah, it looks like the major like burst of convection has dissipated in the last two hours so anyways guys that will be it for the video today i will be back and i'll probably be live around for actually five i'll be back around five with the live stream in that live stream i'll probably do an update on both these systems just because i'll already be live 
Anyways, guys, that will do it for me here. I will start stream up at 4.45 around there, around that time. So you guys and myself can see the landfall of this tropical system in the Atlantic. So see you then, guys, and peace out.